Vice Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, Senator Dati Baba Ahmed, has called on Nigerians to come out on May 29 to protest against the inauguration of President elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Hmm. Are you sure this one is really coming from Dati Ahmed? May 29 had been slated for inauguration of President elect. The Labour Party Vice Presidential Candidate, candidate made the call at a coalition of Nigerians living in the UK conference that took place on Monday, May 15, 2023. Baba Med maintained that swearing in Tinubu would be unconstitutional and would amount to a civilian coup because Tinubu failed to satisfy the constitutional requirements of scoring 25% of votes into third of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja. It could be recorded that Baba Dati Ahmed had called on President Muhammad Buhari and the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ulukayo de Ariwola, to boycott the swearing-in ceremony of the President-elect Bola Tinubu, slated for May 29. Baba Ahmed insisted that swearing-in a ticket that has not yet met constitutional requirements is tantamount to ending democracy. The LPVP candidate said the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ainek Mahmoud Yakub, was reckless to have issued the certificate of return to Tinubu. He described the process that produced Tinubu as president-elect as unconstitutional. Baba Ahmed said, swearing in a ticket that has not met the constitutional requirement of the constitution is ending democracy and I'm repeating it, whoever does not meet the constitutional requirement must Never be sworn in. Okay. I'm repeating it. Swearing in anybody that does not meet the constitutional requirements of our country. You are engaging in an unconstitutional act. Mr. President, do not hold that inauguration. CJN, your lordship, do not partake in unconstitutionality. The theme of the UK conference is, Does Democracy Matter? Coalition of Nigerians Living in the United Kingdom as the tell the true stories about the 2023 election process and outcomes what was happening what happened and what we happen hmm. okay yeah that he made and his family must lead by example this that he made is a weaker so he wants power at all costs eh? honestly i begin to hate this man for his all trans he is going to lead people to protest or what? I wonder if these people understand what politics is all about. It's like this man doesn't even get respect for army. Do you think they are joking for this 2029? 20, anyway, you can come out with your children and your relatives. Leave poor man Peking. Make sure your children are leading the charge. It is quite unfortunate some human beings are still reckless, wicked and heartless. How on earth will Tinubu rule us? Is not okay fit to rule Nigeria? Unfit person would never rule this country. Bring out your children, bro. Their own is good. You stole small and established private university for them. My own is to swear to wear bathroom slippers and hit the streets for you guys. The shameless man can't even keep quiet for once why do you want him to keep quiet you should go to Mauritania to order that rebellious act against constituted authority it isn't your fault it is the fault of nigeria that cannot deny you from participating in nigeria you think that is the real thing they would have done that now uh, if, it is, if you think that uh, they have done the wrong things so also is excusing other people of doing wrong things i can see that uh, his brothers are not happy with this and the Emilokon and the what they say, Baba, they are coming from this man, coming for him. Like I said, are you sure that is how he puts it? Because uh, in one breath he said he doesn't even want to say anything, but the truth has been said, the fact has the fa uh, fact have, has been made. So if they want to take it or not, but what if they do that? That is exactly what they have done. They have done the unconstitutional um thing. Whether people come at that deal, to me, it is inconsequential. His children are in abroad, but you want to endanger the life of innocent children.
I see we have cowards in their hundreds in this platform and in Nigeria at large. There's nothing wrong coming out to protest injustice. How I neck force someone on us. Nigeria is really a zoo and the animals celebrating victory that is that is not there as still vomiting trash. Una never suffer enough for these eight years. I just wonder how sentiments can make anyone forget what we are passing through. More national debt, corruption, killings, hunger and suffering uh if nothing is done of course some people will still come as that's what i have some people will still come out no matter how you try to intimidate them some people will still come out no matter what watch and see that they, even if they are not going to be much but they just want to make a statement this is not necessary it will mean aggravating the situation let judiciary take all decisions the president elect is the winner of the presidential election that is what you see some people say no so everybody is entitled to his opinion. If you say he won, some people say he did not win. So at the end of the day, let the judiciary, if they are going to do the needful, let them settle the matter.